Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is July 18th. Our scripture reading for today comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2. We always thank God for all of you and continually mention you in our prayers. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to remember others in our prayer time, to intercede in their behalf in our prayer time, lifting them up before you in prayer, asking you to bless their lives and help them through whatever situations they are facing this day. Lord, as we intercede for others, we thank you that angels are dispatched to, to protect them, to lead them, to guide them, to whisper in their ear, this is the way, walk ye in it, if they turn to the right hand or to the left. Lord, sometimes they don't even know that we're praying for them, and that's okay. All we want to do is lift them up before you to be a blessing to them. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, we've been studying about having the right mindset or thinking about the right things, according to Philippians 4, 8, which says, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are a good report, if there's any virtue, if there's any praise, think on these things. Now, yesterday we left off with some examples of people that receive their healings, etc., then lose their healings. And as Jesus said in Matthew 12, 45, the last state of that man is worse than the first. Well, sometimes when someone comes to me for prayer, and I always pray for I, I always pray for them if asked. I know though in my heart that they're not going to be able to, to either receive or hold on to their healing. I, I can just sense that. Why? Well, usually it's because all they have is doubt and unbelief in their voice. I mean, the wine never leaves their attitude. I, <laughs> I even have one person I'm thinking about right now uh, come up in the prayer line, and when I got ready to pray for them, they said something to the effect of, well, I, I had some of the good ones pray for me, and I didn't get anything, so I'm not holding out much hope for you, but go ahead and pray. Right? Well, that'll put some water on your Holy Spirit fire, amen? But we've been looking at the different principles of prayer found in Paul's letters, and we've seen how important praying in tongues can be uh, to pray for things that we don't really know how to pray for. And we've discussed how we refuse how we refuse to worry about anything. We're not supposed to have a care in this world, Paul said. But we are to allow the peace of God rule in our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. As we continually study these different scriptures, we're learning what the Word of God has to say about prayer. You know, for many of you, you may have heard some of these things over the last few days or so that, that you have never heard taught in your church today for whatever reason. If you only put these principles of prayer into practice in your own private prayer time, folks, we'll be able to rise above whatever circumstances we find ourselves in in this world and begin to walk in the victory Jesus intended for us to walk in. Amen? I want to pray for you today that you'll begin to walk out the concepts of what we've been studying these past several days and put them into action. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, it's my prayer, sir, that everyone within the sound of my voice or watching these videos understand the importance of prayer, understand the emphasis they need to put on the prayer life, and understand the concepts of you know, speaking in tongues when we don't know what to pray for. For that's the Holy Spirit interceding in our behalf and praying for us. Father, prayer is so vital to living in this downtrodden world this sin-filled world in which we live. We need prayer to keep our minds, our hearts, our spirits focused on you and our heavenly home and to be able to witness effectively here in this earth, bringing others with us into the kingdom of God, introducing them to Jesus and salvation alone through his name alone and all that he accomplished at the cross. Jesus, we thank you for these things. We praise you for these things. And Lord, we lift up our prayers to you this day and give you honor, glory, and praise for them, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Do me a favor, leave a comment, rating down below. Jump over on iTunes, leave a rating. Folks, when I say this every day, I'm not doing it just to say it. 
This really helps us to get the word out about this series of broadcasts we're doing all year long. Amen. Be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. If you have or are thinking of having a started or starting a Christian podcast, free resources right there. We want to bless you with them to help you get the word out. Amen. All right, that's all the time we have for now. This is Pastor Bob reminding you again from First Thessalonians chapter five, verse seventeen, Living Bible to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk to you tomorrow.